did Pat McGrath get me with one of her sneaky little steep discount codes? Stay tuned till the end to find out whether or not I broke my no buy. But first, another episode of Nothing New 22. looking Kendra Morgan official here and we've got another update of nothing new 22 for you Tuesday March 15th Pat McGrath labs something happened somebody leaked a potential employee code discount of 50% on already discounted merchandise on Pat McGrath labs website and there were savings of 72% something completely unheard of in the makeup industry as we know it so so did i break my no buy and purchase some pat mcgrath labs mothership palettes for as low as 40 dollars stay tuned to find out but first let's dive into what exactly happened so tuesday march 15th i was scrolling through youtube like i sometimes do and morgan turner put out that if you use team love labs whatever the code is i'll put it right here if you use that code, you can get 50% savings and additional savings on top of what was already marked down. So Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath was already running like a special where she put together some mothership palettes. Um, the first, second, and third, the fourth, fifth, and sixth, seventh and eighth were put together, the two divine roses, and then Utopian Dreams was not marked down for sale. Um, so you could get potentially 72% savings on mothership pats mothership palettes so they were marked down from 350 dollars if you order so let's say if you buy three palettes market retail price would be yes 375 dollars they were marked down to 244 dollars then you got an additional 50 percent savings giving you 122 dollars for three palettes Whew, that is the steepest discount i have seen in a long time folks and i think that might even blow bh cosmetics out of the water when they were saying they were giving 80 percent discounts i didn't see no 80 percent discount on your website bh cosmetics i saw some three dollar lashes and i can get dollar lashes on it shop miss a so whether or not, whether or not, so let's break this down. Um, you can see on the screen here, I filled up a cart. I, I basically was going to get almost all of the palettes that I didn't have mothership wise. Uh, you guys might already know. Yeah, you should know already. I have the Midnight Sun. That's the only one I have. And I was bragging about it being $56.20. Okay, so that's pretty good. And I feel like for that price point, they're worth it. But now they're $40. So now, you know, it's like, is this even more of a discount? Like, can I do this? Could I withstand the no buy? <sighs> it was hard, folks. But I put in my cart. Let's, so, so let's talk about what I put in my cart. So I put in all of the Mothership palettes I didn't have, except for the Mothership bundle with the um, four, five, and six. So I wasn't going to get four and five. Then I added Bronze Seduction, and that would have been a $47 palette. Okay, so I just added it singly because it was on sale for $94. I heard great things about Pat McGrath's concealer, so I added that to my bundle as well. And I don't actually own any loose powder. I had one other loose powder other than the translucent Laura Mercier powder that I had in my kit that I finished off. And that was one for deeper skin tones that I kept in my kit and that one's um, being given away. So no more loose powders. I was ready and willing to get a loose powder for like 19 bucks and I think that's a pretty pretty decent price although you know drugstores come a long way drugstore has come a long way um so let's talk about whether or not I spent the money the $200 200 some odd dollars you can see my little like total over here I screenshotted it for you um so it would have been $600 marked down to like 200 and some odd dollars that would have been a great savings I would have had some other shit palettes but 
that wouldn't have been a savings. That would have been I spent that much money. Okay, that is the key term here. And then I took another step back and went even farther and I said, what can I buy for $200? Well, right now only a tank of gas. That's about it. No, but in essence, what can I buy for $200? I could buy tickets to um, my son's favorite zoo, all season tickets and pay for the gas. I can buy you know, a couple, two or three tankfuls of gas for our boat, our family boat, so we can go out on a nice outing. We could even go to the marina, have lunch, um, buy snacks and drinks and beverages, you know, the whole lot, right? Treat yourself to some cold beverages and still probably have money left over. Well, not after the fuel prices, but if the fuel prices were a little bit lower. Ideally, I could spend a lot of money on something else and it would be a lot more fun than yet another package of makeup coming in that I'm gonna to have to make you know organize find a place find a home all the things so did I purchase did I break my no buy did I buy $40 mothership palettes the answer is no I did not I resisted I resisted but I came so close I thought maybe maybe I can do this and it'd be okay. And then I thought, I'm in control, you know? So here's the thing, two things went through my mind. Number one, Pat McGrath Labs could be potentially in danger financially and maybe they'll pull a BH Cosmetics and file for, you know, bankruptcy or maybe they'll pull a Makeup Geek and they'll just announce that they're closing at the end of, you know, XYZ month. In which case, now I own makeup that is obsolete. Now, is it timeless? Is it classic? Is it like legendary in the makeup industry, beauty community? Absolutely. I have nothing against Pat McGrath makeup and the packaging and all the experience that comes with it. But at the end of the day, it is just makeup and I do not aspire to own a room full of expired makeup. So. With that being said, no, I did not. I did not. I don't know whether or not. So a couple of things was kind of bounced around. Allegedly, the code got leaked. It was an employee discount code, and they, you know, were supposed to spread it amongst the employees throughout Pat McGrath, because we do know that you had to be logged into your account to be able to use the code. You had to. Let's see what else. So you had to be on the mailing list, and you had to be logged in. And nobody really knows where the code came from. I know it was leaked on Trend Mood and Morgan Turner. She posted it, A Little Night Makeup posted it. In fact, I saw A Little Night Makeup's post about it, stating that you could get the makeup for 50% off. So that says one of two things to me. Pat McGrath Labs is in trouble and they are allegedly shutting down. Maybe this steep discount code is a way to, you know, sell off a bunch of assets to potentially save their name or, you know, it was a glitch in the system. Somebody accidentally leaked a code. Now, I don't think it was the latter. I really don't. I don't think it was the latter at all. And I'll tell you why, because Pat McGrath Labs Cosmetics would be able to differentiate between an employee account and a a consumer customer account so if the code worked for in fact almost everybody's account then it's likely that it wasn't necessarily a glitch it was probably something that was planned it was only about three hours I think it was launched around seven or eight o'clock uh, central daylight time and then it was over by ten something or other I think that's when the code um, was found to be no longer uh, active so whether or not it was actually a glitch in the system whether or not Pat McGrath labs is in trouble remains to be found we'll see um, some people think that Pat McGrath labs is too steep of a price point and this is the way for her to feel out the market post COVID and find out you know where where can I put this new price point out we do know that the last three releases that she has put out have been cardboard boxes and they've been really awful 
awful cardboard boxes in my opinion the two bridgertons those have launched which i did kind of want to dupe the bridgerton this last one with the gold and then that kind of seafoam green but then it was like it turned out to be like a seafoam green satin shade it wasn't even a like duochrome or a multi-chrome or <laughs> astral shade so then i was like what for there's there's no reason but that was also a cardboard box and then she released the celestial odyssey which again cardboard box it did have like a, a plate of you know a glimmer of kind of like the insight to pat mcgrath labs and the mothership packaging but other than that pfft, nothing kind of just let left you dull left you dull and empty and you know lifeless so you know whether that remains to be seen I did not participate in that. If you participated in the sale and you found a code and you found it useful or whatever, let me know down below what you what you got. You know, did you buy something? Um, I was tempted. I was I was really tempted. This the bargainist in me, the sailor, the you know frugal like get it while it's hot kind of you know shopper in me was dying to hit send and and then I really had to like you know talk myself off that ledge and I sure did um but I will say this it wasn't hard but at the end of the day I had to remember I'm in control and I you know decide whether or not I'm going to purchase their makeup and owning a room full of expired makeup is not my goal in life folks that is just not the goal so thanks so much for joining me on this episode of nothing new 22 and I I hope it ended the way you wanted it to. I haven't broke my no buy for any reason yet. And um, and if it didn't, and you wanted to hear that I, you know, purchased some concealer powder and all the mothership palettes that I didn't previously own, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's it's not it's not in the stars for me. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Let me know what you purchased if you did. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video.